Hello Red Base. How are you today? I hope you're all okay. Um, I'm just going to read you this story. Uh, this is a story that I've thought is really a, quite a nice story to read uh, with everything that's happening at the moment. And it's all about worries. Um, so it'd be nice if you could sit with a grown-up while you're watching this and you can talk to them about what's happening in the story. And maybe you could talk to them about any worries that you have. So this story is all about a little girl called Ruby and how she has a worry. Do you know what the word worry means? I'm going to read you the story and then we're going to talk about what a worry is at the end. So, Ruby's worry. Oh look, here she is, this is Ruby. Can you see how happy she is in the picture? I think she's doing a little dance. She looks like a nice little girl. I do like her spotty dress. This is another picture of Ruby. Ruby is at the beach. This is a quite a nice I can see picture. Can you tell the person you're watching this with what you can see? What's Ruby doing? Who is she with? I can see some balloons. I can see some yellow and blue balloons. What else can you see? I think Ruby is at the seaside with her family. Somebody in her family is buying her a present. It looks like a windmill. Oh look, here she is. Ruby loved being Ruby. Ruby is blowing the windmill. She looks very happy today. She loved to swing up high. Can you see how she's swinging up high? Do you go on swings? Where do you go on swings? And she loved to explore wild, far away places. Sometimes she went all the way to the very bottom of the garden. Can you see she's in her garden? Oh, I can see something in her garden that we've learnt about last week. What can you see there? That's right, it's a ladybird. Ruby is exploring her garden and she has found a ladybird. Ruby was perfectly happy until one day she discovered a worry. It wasn't a very big worry. Oh, I can see the worry there. It wasn't a very big worry. In fact, it was so small that at first, Ruby hardly even noticed it. Can you see? She's eating her ice cream, having a lovely time, but the little worry is right next to her. But then, the worry started to grow. She doesn't look very happy now. Each day, it got a little bit bigger. It just wouldn't leave her alone. I can see that Ruby has made a dragon out of a box and the worry is sitting in the box with her. She doesn't look very sure. It was there at breakfast, staring at her over the cereal box. And it was still there at night when she cleaned her teeth. The funny thing was that no one else could see Ruby's worry, not even her teacher. So Ruby pretended that she couldn't see it either. Oh, she's in her classroom just like we do, Red Base. And she's pretending that she can't see it because nobody else can. I can see the worry, can you? It's still there. 
she tried to carry on as if everything was normal. But it just wasn't. The worry was always there, stopping her from doing the things that she loved. Ruby wondered if the worry would ever go away. What if it didn't? What if it stayed with her forever? Ruby didn't realise, but she was doing the worst thing you can ever do with a worry. She was worrying about it. That's right, children. If we've got a worry and it's in our head... Have you guessed what a worry is yet? So a worry is like a bad thought. It's a thought that you cannot stop thinking about. And the more you think about it, the more it is there. And that's what Ruby's done. She didn't realise, but she was doing the worst thing you can ever do with a worry. She was worrying about it. She's worrying. Now the worry was enormous. It could barely fit in the kitchen at tea time. It filled up half the school bus. See, he's on the bus. The worry, and it took up the whole row at the cinema. The worry became the only thing that Ruby could think about. And it seemed like she would never feel happy again. Oh, poor Ruby. Then one day, something unexpected happened. Ruby noticed a boy sitting alone at the park. He looked how she felt. Sad. And then she noticed something else. Something that was next to him. Do you think you can see that is next to him? Why is the little boy feeling sad? Could it be a worry? Then Ruby did the best thing you can ever do if you have a worry. She talked about it. As the words tumbled out, Ruby's worry began to shrink until it was barely there at all. Because they were talking, soon both of their worries were gone. So Ruby and the little boy told each other about their worries and now both of their worries were gone. Finally, Ruby felt like herself again. Of course, that wasn't the last time that she ever had a worry. Everyone gets them from time to time. But now that she knew how to get rid of them, they never hung around for long. That's interesting, children. Ruby now knew how to get rid of the worry. Can you tell somebody in your house, how did Ruby get rid of her worry? What did she do? What did the little boy do to get rid of her worry? That's right, let's go back a page. She talked about it. She told the little boy what she was worried about. The little boy told her what she was worried about. They talked about it and talked about it. And then soon all of their worries were gone. Now she said, that isn't the last time a worry came. Because worries do come back. We often have thoughts that we are thinking about that are not very nice. But as long as we talk about them, the worries will go away and stay very small. Oh, I hope you enjoyed that story, children. When I read this story to Oliver, I thought, and he thought, that I've learned a lesson. And that lesson is that if I have a worry... I'm thinking about something and it's not very nice and I'm thinking about it and thinking about it and thinking about it and it won't go away. I talk to somebody about it and then do you know what happens? The worry disappears just like it did with Ruby. 
So if you've got any worries, you need to go and talk to a grown-up about them, tell them how you're feeling, and then hopefully the worry will go away and disappear. I hope you enjoyed that story, children. This is a brand new book, and I will make sure that when we all go back to school and see each other again, I bring it with us, and then we can read it together. Have a nice day. Bye.